or or and there's some people that are really kind of seriously looks like they're doing good science looking at this i don't know right. well i think the flirthers would be very upset with this conversation the what the flirthers the flat earthers um, well well i don't know because does just even if you think the world is flat and yeah. i'm not saying i do but even if you did does that right. mean there's nothing outside the dome well i i don't see i that is a question i don't know but what i hear from them is that even if there were something outside the dome that we would have no way of knowing because you can't break through the firmament well but a lot of flat earthers that, that i've exist. talked to i'm sorry but that assumes that portals don't exist that you can't create okay. tunnels that you can't do uh you know uh look at look at i mean again i always look at you you and you and jay got me into the looking at predictive programming look at what we see in the movies do yeah. do uh we don't see people transporting just physically we see them in the transporter you know right. we see them go through wormholes we see them mm -hmm. go into these stargates and now you're seeing pictures of these big stone rings that they've unearthed all over the world Right. like there have been maybe stargates here who knows but i don't think i don't think I, the flat earth thing i don't get involved too much in but other than to say i do think there are some problems with what they're telling us about the earth as they say it is of course yeah i There's agree with real that. problems with that talking if Definitely. we're going to talk about what the nature of reality is it just doesn't things don't add up quite right and why do you why does nasa have to give you false pictures of like re you know like you can see where they've stamped the clouds multiple times on their pictures of earth that there's no non they say there's no non-compositive picture of the earth from the iss right and why can't we go to antarctica without military right why parents? can't we go to antarctica yeah no that, that there's definitely a lot of questions for sure unanswered questions i i don't know uh and i'm sure not all flat earthers have the same theory but a lot i have talked to some who believe that there is nothing outside and that that that's all like a psyop but i don't know i can't well i mean that's a belief but what's the what's the evidence for any of this i mean at some point now there's one i think there's a lot more evidence to indicate that there is something beyond earth i mean right i do too yeah. but it doesn't necessarily mean you know one of the see that's i got one day i got on one of these conversations on mm -hmm. on telegram or something of the flat earth things and i said okay i, think I followed that uh, yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna uh, make fun of these guys, then you have to at least answer a couple questions, and that sure. is one is why do we not have any? Why are all the pictures from space first sent through JPL for their clearance before we, the taxpayer, can see them? Why right. are they hiding? Why is NASA hiding things? Why are they faking things? And why are they why are they compositing the pictures of the globe? Exactly. Number two. Why is it you can't, these people, I don't think these people are all dumb that are doing this. I mean, these are seem like competent researchers that put these sure. known stakes out and then they try and then they can look at them for the telephoto lens and they can see them past where they should be able to see them given the right. known curvature of the earth. Now that doesn't prove the world is flat. It might right. be, however, quite a bit bigger than what we're told. Sure. And I do think that uh, the technology has changed so we can see much further than we used to be able to. Yeah, so, but that we shouldn't be able to see it if the Earth is a certain diameter and we know the radius exactly. of curvature. Right. So but, that's exactly the problem is that this all this this is start, the story starting to fall apart with modern modern telescopic imaging. Right. That's the problem. <laughs> yeah, no, I would agree with that. And I, I think there should be a, a new inventory, but there's apparently much invested in keeping the old narrative instead of exploring like the original presuppositions that everything's founded upon. Well, and I think it's interesting that now they say the moon is is within the Van Allen radiation. The moon is is um, not within that the moon is within our our atmosphere, essentially. That's I've crazy. heard. Yeah, That's I've heard crazy. that too. But that That's was because they didn't believe that you could trans that you could get there, right? You know, given the 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 what we know about you know just physics now, they said it's not, something's not right here, and so they said, well, we were wrong about saying that it was outside the, you know, right. So that would make it more plausible, uh, even though that they, they haven't gone back and their official narrative of why they have not gone back is because they lost the. They yeah. lost the equations in a garage sale. I mean, come on. This, this is just absurd stuff. I it's know. like they're laughing at us. Yes. Oh, well, that's what it feels like. Like they're yeah. totally they're laughing just, at us. They're, It's just a joke to them. So 
what's really going on? What do you think? Do you think we're on a big, big, big planet? Do you think that we are all by, do you think we are completely alone in the universe or what do you think? I don't know. I mean, yeah. I, I certainly don't have the answer. It just, if I were just to go based on, you know, the evidence and then intuition, because there's only so much limited evidence really for me to explore. I don't feel like we're alone. I just, that seems just, even as a really little kid, I just felt like that seemed like such a improbable. Yeah. It just never made sense to me to think that you have this expansive infinite universe and that we're the only life form that could have possibly emerged. It just doesn't really make any sense to me at all. Do I think all the stories of aliens are, are factual? Probably not. I think it's a really great way to, uh, you know, distract people, induce fear, you know, create a, a mass scale psyop where that voice, like a world governing body, because what, what better way to do that than to t terrorize everyone against a, a, an extraterrestrial entity that we need to protect ourselves. So of course, then we have to unite as planet earth. So I think that that, you know, isn't necessarily accurate, but I think there's a lot invested in them keeping the narratives alive but not necessarily telling us the truth about what right. might and, be revealed. And I think if you concentrate on the lies, you know, that's what, yeah. that's what I've kind of, there's some lies that are provably lies, like this idea that, um, and, the, and that's what they're being called out on right now. How did we get through the Van Allen radiation belt? And that's when they mm -hmm. decided to come up with a new theory that actually the moon is within that, which means it's a lot closer than what they're saying. Right. You know, again, this just doesn't, is, there's a lot of stuff they're not explaining with this whole deal. And as far as the shape of the earth, I'm inclined to believe it's bigger than what they've told us. And this would, like you, you look at motives, potential reasons right. why they would do that. I mean, it, it would make sense that they would want us to believe that it's a certain uh, limited capacity and then to have extra land or resources that people don't know about to create their own kind of escape or safe haven. I don't know. I'm just saying like that, that would be plausible. I could buy that. Yeah. As an well, I've seen a picture, which to me, I like this idea. You know, <laughs> you, you've seen the picture of the UN map, right? It's not yep. the Mercator map, but it's a flat earth map. And yeah. so is the picture. So is the map used in Air Force One. Mm -hmm. And so it has an ice ring around the outside. And then the other pole is in the center. So the, it's like, it's, it's, now, then I saw a picture of this globe, and this is all just made up. This thing is made up. Right. It, but it's showing what it's saying, what if? if? If the Earth is much bigger, what if it's, it's, it's this, like, you see an ice ball, and then you see these pockets of life in, in these kind of, like, little, little blebs all over this world. Right. Now, what if it's a huge world, and we are one civilization under a dome here? Oh, wow. Now that's another, I mean, that's one of the ones that, that's coming out now that I hadn't thought of in my life. I mean, that's, but it, I I'll tell you, one of the other weird things is the sky ice. One of the reasons they claim that we're doing all this over winter stay at the North Pole uh, for, or at the South Pole rather for exploration is that, that the ice can, standard ice that we drill cores from the ground to look at like lead levels historically and stuff that can be moved but not this sky ice which is this stuff that looks really blue and you can't even lift it with gloves it'll just evaporate kind of stuff but you know wow. they and they claim it falls onto the ice periodically like from the firmament who knows huh. look up sky ice look up sky i'm gonna ice. look up I, sky I, ice. I, I, I have not it heard for a while but all. i looked into that a couple of years ago and i thought that's really interesting i mean yeah. Yeah, that is interesting. I've never heard of it, so I'm not familiar at all. 